Howdy folks, and welcome back to Loki. We are up to, what is it, episode 5 now? There's only one more after this. Journey into Mystery. Um, Loki is in this world, according to the mid credit scene from the last episode, where there's other variant Lokis. We saw other variant Loki. Is that the plural of Lokis? <laughs> of Loki? Loki? Um, we saw a whole bunch of different ones there. Uh, presumably there's going to be more. For instance, in the trailer, we've seen some scenes with Loki that we haven't seen yet, like the one where he's got the vote Loki or whatever button and says, you know, what did you expect? I imagine we'll probably run into that guy. Um, there's trailers again for you, which is why I, I, I have a hard time deciding whether or not I should react to trailers. But anyway, uh, that said, is Mobius somewhere in a, in another um, area where there's other Mobiuses, Mobiusi? Or is uh, he in this place? Is this this one big place where all the different variants from everybody are sent to populate the, this world or this universe? I don't know what it is. Um, um, and, uh, I mean, I, I, I imagine, yes, that he's alive because I imagine that, that that stick that makes that we thought just vaporized people um, actually sends them to another place, so... That means C20 will be there, too, in another place. Maybe not in this place. Uh, and all of that. All the people that we've seen, including Ticket Guy from the beginning. <laughs> he wouldn't give me a ticket. Um, so so somehow, our Loki needs to get back, and our Mobius need to get back, and join the fight with Sylvie to take down, to find out who's behind the TVA and to take down the TVA, because... I mean, I, pres I, I still, I, I'm still confused by the show. I don't know exactly why the TVA needs to be taken down. I mean, I understand that it's, it's really very arrogant of whoever's behind it to think that they should decide what the, the true sacred timeline should be. I get that part, but is, is the universe supposed to be a multiverse? And these guys are pruning all these branches, and that's against nature, so to speak. Is that why they're they're fighting against them? I know why Sylvie's fighting because her life has been ruined, and she wants revenge. Basically, uh, Loki wanted power and control at first, and now he kind of is with Sylvie and wants revenge as well for her, mostly. I think um, Mobius, I think, wants kind of revenge too because his life has been taken from him, and he didn't know about it, and they lied to him. So, I, again, who's behind it? You know. Who's behind it? I guess we'll find out. Maybe not in this episode, but definitely by the end of it, I hope. Anyway, let's get started. Tell her everything. Yeah, tell her everything. I guess I had to kind of put that in there as a recap. For folks who missed the in mid credit scene who weren't online and didn't hear that there was one to go watch, maybe they completely missed it and they now need to know that, <laughs> that he woke up somewhere. I guess we're to presume... That the TVA was able to prune all those branches that Sylvie caused, right? During her the, the time when she came in to try to attack them, that they were off doing that and they succeeded, I guess. So, so much for the uh, for that being the kickoff of the Multiverse of Madness. I think that's coming later. So we didn't get to see what Sylvie got out of her? What information she got out of her? I think everybody's right. This is New York, post some sort of an apocalypse, maybe post Thanos invasion or something. What is that cloud? That's where he woke up, huh? Boy, that's Elias. Where his lunch? Come on. Elias. That's what that is. Ooh. Is this a creature that consumes? I mean, is it? Was it there already, and they are sending the variants there to have them consumed to take care of them? Is it something that developed or? or came there as a result of them being there and being like, is this uh, creature, the smoke creature, some sort of smoke creature, it's kind of like lost, right? Is this some sort of a um, uh, a creature that just feeds on time abnormal, uh, anomalies, ab abnormal, abnormalities is what I was going to say, and then I wanted to say anomalies, and it came out abnormalies. Uh, I do that a lot. Um, anomalies... So did it come here because of them? Was it already there and that's why they're being sent there? Or was it a sheer coincidence? Or is that a Loki variant? <laughs> Good, we're getting it. So she did know. She did know that it doesn't kill them. 
Renslayer knew all about, um, as everybody was kind of predicting, she knew she knew she's a variant. She knows she's a variant. She knows where they go and everything. So nothing ever comes back from there, but I can help you if you trust me. They, okay. If nothing ever comes back from there, that kind of implies you don't know how to get anything back from there, but maybe you do. Sylvie's cool. Okay. Everything is here, so this must be where Mobius is too. This can't... She said it's a void where they send everybody in a single point. I mean, it's going to end in a single point, obviously. I guess the universe collapsing or something. But we get what... Is that a UFO or something? What is that? Or some sort of round top of a building or structure or something. We had a shipwreck over here, like an old wooden sailing boat behind us. So you imagine this is where Mobius is too. This is where everybody is, right? All the birds have been pruned too and they're moving as well away from the creature. That's amazing. Ah. Killing Thor would be a pretty big Nexus event, I would imagine. Thanos on the helicopter? Oh, oh, oh. That's a real Mjolnir. Or at least very similar to the one that uh, Arthur used. T365. Don't know. Oh, wait. What was that? Oh my goodness, is that like a frog Thor? Or a frog Loki? Something is stuck in, in this jar. It's just a void. What if Miss Minutes is back! What if there's some prototype? Right. The prototype. Conceivably take us to the this seems rather convenient. Oh, Miss Minutes knows they're both, yeah. They're both completely bluffing here. Highly restricted. I'm go, go, go. <laughs> yep, they were delaying. Wonder what is, it, is that just one memory supposed to be Loki? Loki 2012? Something recent? Or is it the earlier memory before she was taken as a child? Or an, er, an earlier memory before she was taken as a child? Oh, she sent herself. Holy crap. That's how she... Oh. She took the temp pad with her. Is it going to go with her? Is it going to be there? Oh, if she's a Loki variant, she should appear in the same place. I wonder how they knew that 2012 appeared. Was there some sort of sensor system they've set up or something? Hmm. Or some natural event occurs, like a, uh, an earthquake or something that indicates when somebody arrives? That was not expected. She's dead too. Yeah, the others don't know. In solitude. So his Nexus event was just giving up. Long time. I help I can get. He's not very good at the leader thing. <laughs> Come on, please run into Sylvie when you're out there. Uh oh. No, it looks like somebody found her, took her somewhere. Or did she really just appear inside that old bus? I guess everybody doesn't appear in the same spot? Oh, wow! Is she enchanting... It's not Goliath, right? What's the name? Is she enchanting the cloud monster? She was. It's, it's Mobius! That's probably as I can tell from this distance. So here's the scene from the trailer. I mean, people are calling him President Loki, but whatever. Not so good a bargain. See, a lot of people were thinking that all of these guys were Loki variants. They're not now. Mobius is here. So we know this isn't just a Loki world. So some of them could be, but probably aren't, because you would imagine that this Loki wouldn't want any other Lokis around him, right? How about this one? Oh, come on. <laughs> I 
2012 just sneaks out during the fight. Goliath. I keep forgetting. I keep wanting to say Goliath, but it's Goliath. Something else just arrived. This is where they're going to reunite. They're both heading towards it. Okay. And there it is. The Eldridge. And there's sailors still on board. There's actually a movie about this. Philadelphia Experiment? And a book. Wow. Torture shreds. Huh, <laughs> something cannibalistic, but it's not. It's now. Sylvie! Oh, he's running to somebody I think he might be in love with. Yeah, she managed to enchant it momentarily. She saw a glimpse of some memories. Alright, Runslayer, what are you up to? Oh boy. They didn't kill her, they imprisoned her. I wonder why she wasn't pruned. She's putting two and two together and realizing that that's why she's self uh, pruned. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. She figures she can use the TVA's own information to get a leg up on Sylvie. In the, with the pretense that she's trying to help. He's groomed, <laughs> Come on, finish the conversation you guys were starting. A lot of people are grossed out by it. I'm not. Because it's totally different timelines. To me, it's like totally different people. It's not like they grew up together. It's not like they knew each other. Yeah, sure, they're essentially brother and sister, but come on. Didn't you watch Game of Thrones? <laughs> uh-huh. Sure. No, oh, a way to get closer. Okay. Is this his way of basically saying, when I met you, you made me a better man? Which is a, a very romantic thing that is often said. You make me a better person? We can figure it out. Together? Together. Yeah. They're putting themselves out there for it to come. There you go. There's some trust right there, giving him the temp pad. That's interesting. If the temp pad couldn't lock on to, yeah, the temp pad couldn't lock on to um, to this location, but it could theoretically, I guess that's what they're about to say, it could lock on to locations elsewhere. So it could be an escape mechanism. So she gave it to him so that he could escape, but he's not going to want to escape. He's going to give it to those guys to escape. Dang. Give it to Mobius, yeah. He could create his own, but the gesture is very kind. Burn it to the ground. There you go. He's a friend. Question. Since the tin pad has now opened a portal at this place, could it reverse it? Does it have a memory of where it's been? Could he basically open a portal back here? I wonder. Oh, there's a helicarrier back there. Oh. Hang on. Oh, it really focuses on her. Where's that green coming from? Oh, he's creating it. Creating an Asgard. And that's sacrificial. He's going to die. He's not getting out of this alive, is he? The classic Loki? Nope. There he goes. With glorious purpose. There it is! That's where the creator is? That's where it's gonna end. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why I expected more. Uh, let's see if there's a... Uh, mid-credits or 
end credit scene. I don't know why I expected more. No, there isn't this time. Not that I can see. I shouldn't have expected more because they'd love to end on those kinds of cliffhangers. But I did was not anticipating the end. This one was real. This one, this episode, especially the end, just had me totally glued to it. Um, and I think they have one more episode now. So how how are they going to finish it now? I've heard people speculate from the comics that apparently the TVA was created by an agent at the end of time who somehow went back in time and created the TVA and created the, the timekeepers, I guess. So maybe that's what we're going to find is that there's a person here who is like a TVA agent at the end of time. Um, or there's still the Kang the Conqueror thing that people are talking about as a possibility. I don't know. Um, but man, I, I want to find out. <laughs> um, Sylvie is very cool, as I pointed out. Very cool. And uh, I, I believe Loki. I believe 2012 Loki. When he said, you know, he, he, that essentially he said he's he, he's he's a different man. He's not going to betray her. He didn't say I'm not going to betray you. He just he just said he's a different man. Um, but I think he actually kind of loves her. So why would he betray her? But then again, he said I've betrayed people I love. So. I don't know. Um, but I do believe him. I do believe that he's, he doesn't know what to do after this, but he is going to help her do what she wants to do, which is find the person behind it and basically make them pay or destroy them or, or prevent the TVA from existing or what. So there's still a possibility that this show will end with the Multiverse of Madness explosion. Although there's also was speculation when I reviewed it too, but of uh, WandaVision about that in credit scene at the end of WandaVision, about that being something that was generating uh, the multiverse by Wanda basically probing different timelines and different universes looking for her children. Maybe these are coinciding. Maybe the timeline has that happening at the same time this is happening or something. Well, actually, it's not happening, is it? Because not when, because this is the end of time where they are. And the TVA is out of time outside of time and our Loki came in 2012 so I don't know I don't know how they're going to work but something is going to break this sacred timeline thing I think that's what they're trying to do in this series I think that's what Sylvie wants to do and that's going to end up with a whole bunch of branches that aren't being pruned right the multiverse which is theoretically how they're going to bring in mutants and all that stuff I don't know what else to say other than this was this was really good. Um, I love how they seem to understand the alligator. The alligator seems to know what's going on. But then Sylvie's like, you know, how do you know? Or Mobius, whoever it was, said, how do you know it's a... <clears throat> it's Mobius. How do you know it's a, a Loki? And it's, it's green. <laughs> uh, I love that. Um, the sacrifice of the classic Loki was really cool. Um and I think Loki, our Loki, 2012, pointing out, you know, when she said, how is he doing that? We, I don't think we know how powerful we are sort of thing, which kind of think inspired Sylvia as well at the end to enchant uh, um, Eliath. I, can't, I think of Goliath, and then I realize it's Eliath. Uh, to open up, because what was inside the cloud was this structure. And presumably that's the person who created the TVA. I don't know what else to say other than I want to see next week because I want to know. I want to know who created the TVA. What is Mobius going to do when he goes back to the TVA? I presume he went through that doorway to the TVA or maybe he went to the 90s to go ride on a jet ski and then he's going to go to the TVA. I don't know. Um, but what's he going to do? He's going to try to he's going to try to convince others to join his cause. Obviously, he's going to get, is it B-15? That our number? Going to get her, break her out, obviously. I don't, he should have grabbed C20 <laughs> if he could have found her. Um, but without without Sylvie to enchant them, they're not going to believe. It's just going to be him and B15, right? Are the only two who are going to guard, the only two who are going to be in the TVA who know the truth. How are they going to do this? Hmm. 
That's going to be interesting to see, too. It's going to have something to do with Renslayer, obviously, and her desire to find whoever created the TVA. <clears throat> All right, well, I mean, I'm totally psyched for next week. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this episode and what you think is going to happen next week and who the creator is. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.